Well, a big thing that the Kansas City Chiefs fans would want to know, they, they always ask us to ask all the players we have on the show is, what is your favorite, since being in Kansas City, what is your favorite barbecue spot that you have gone to? My favorite barbecue spot? Me, personally, I like uh, Gates. Gates is my favorite because I like their barbecue chicken. I don't know what it is. It's something about that barbecue chicken and that bread, man. <laughs> it's just no good. <laughs> Matter of fact, matter of fact, you finna make me go to Gates and get some barbecue chicken right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bread be fire though. You, you ain't lying. Yeah, I know. it do be fire. So, I'll be like, gee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll uh, Q thirty nine for sure. Q thirty Q thirty nine. Yeah, Q thirty nine is pretty mm -hmm. solid too. Yeah, yeah. I will say Gates is probably up there for me. <laughs> Um, so, uh, obviously and what, what, so with rookie mini camps being over and stuff and, um, for the second year in a row, you were a hot name that was talked about coming out of that. Um, uh, and this year, this year, especially that was uh, one of the guys who was kind of the, um, the one making noise the most from the camp, a, a bunch of different chiefs websites kind of went out there and said that you were the, the main person, uh, uh, that, that came out of that as a kind of a notable person that looked that looked good during the rookie mini camp was you. Um, so my question is, and obviously everyone's seeing that I, I'm seeing Jerry and Ely highlights being posted from college, but being posted on the Twitter timeline and stuff. So a lot, there's a lot of excitement about you and getting, and you potentially getting, you know, playing time this year and getting a chance to showcase your talent and your skills. What's a message that you have um, to chiefs kingdom as we head into OTAs um, and, you know, summer and training camp and everything. Um, just be patient. Um, Time will come when it's when it's the right time, you know. And just know when that time come, I'm gonna make the most of my opportunity, and I will not let you guys down. I love it. It's good words. It's good words. So, have you uh, have you gotten out there to a Royals game? You you go to the the Royals any? Yeah, man. Yeah, I actually actually I know I do go. Um, okay. I'm good friends with um, Bobby Witt. I used to play. Me and Bobby Witt came out in the same draft class for uh, baseball uh, coming right. out of high school. So yeah, I know I know Bobby. So yeah, I go I go a couple of games. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go to the game in probably like two or three weeks. Okay. Once OTA is in. All right. So, yeah. It's good, man. That's good. It's hard to get away from that, that, that background, right? At, at, no, at, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I used to tell people this all the time, and believe me, I was like, man, baseball was my favorite sport. They was like, what? I'm like, man, I'm telling you, baseball is my favorite sport. It's, uh, it teaches you patience. Yes. Um, it teaches you patience, and it teaches you how to deal with failure, because it's a game where you're going to fail more than you succeed, for sure. It's a game where you're rewarded for failing more than you succeed, kind of, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's a good way of saying it. And no other sport can you go three for ten and make the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's it. That's a fact. Yeah. Well, man, look, we, we we've look we've we've enjoyed man the time man just kind of talking to you. Uh, I'm gonna get up there obviously for for training camp. I usually try to get in and you know holler at some some folks. When I see you get out there, man, and running around, man, I'll come holler at you. All right? And, uh, All right. I'll be there. I'll okay. be there. Man, you, I'll be the one yelling, man, high and tight, high and tight, you know? No, it's going to be there. You ain't got to worry about it move. It's stuck concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Ball security is job security now. I know that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's for that. E, take it to the house, man. Take it to the house. It's <laughs> Here it is. Go get it. Go get it. No. So, yeah, man, I, I think, man, with, with the fans, uh, you know, hearing from, from you, you know, they're going to be really, really excited, man. I'm going to tell you, seriously, just uh, kind of hearing your voice. Maybe, you know, when you see interviews and stuff like that, but people kind of right. do, it, it's one thing. But then, you know, kind of getting to know a player and just kind of seeing a little bit more, like, you know, like like we are kind of, you know, we, you know, joking around, having a good time. It's what people want to see more so than anything else, you know. And so... Uh, I think it, you you know with your personality and what you've shown, uh, just from coming from college to where you are now, uh, you're gonna be easy to root for, you know. 
Like I said, man, we me, me, Marcus said me and you, hey, we fans. We already fans of you. You know, yes, what I'm saying? sir. Thank y'all. Yeah, for sure, brother. For sure. That's the truth. So I told you, man, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I'm gonna tell the truth. You know what I mean? So I know, I know what you got. Uh, I know what you can bring to the table, man. I hope you get that opportunity, man, to really show it. Uh, the team's gonna be better for it, you know, in my opinion. Uh, but I, I don't make the decision. I can make a phone call. That's about all I can do. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.